This year I am so proud that the docent program turns 50. Um, they started in 1968 with a small group of individuals who were dedicated to learning about the environment and plants and sharing that with um, students. The most rewarding thing about becoming a docent is meeting other people that I guess not only enrich my knowledge about the garden, but also are as dedicated. I've never met a more dedicated group of people. All I know is that when I get done giving a tour, I feel better than when I started. And I find that really rewarding. Just, just making people's experiences here better. That same passionate group of individuals, while they might be different, they still have the same passion. really sort of the face of the garden for the visiting public and for members. You want them to have a very positive and warm uh, reception and reaction to their visit. I want them to leave uh, feeling that they'd like to come back, I think. Um, see this garden in a different season, see pieces of it they didn't get a chance to see. I want to tell them about the garden, but I want them to understand all the endeavors that we actually are involved in. Um, not only just here at the garden to make it beautiful, but also what our research is like across the world. Every day that I'm here on campus, I learn something new. By doing the tours, you, you not only teach people about the garden, but you learn from their experience. I've met people from South America, all parts of Europe, North Africa, uh, Asia. Uh, it is so important to, to be able to deal with that uh, and to learn about that in this way and I wouldn't have that opportunity without being a docent here at the garden. Yeah, I have fun doing it and I enjoy meeting people and I enjoy sharing this garden with people. It's hard for me to give what I consider even a brief comprehensive tour of the garden in under an hour, hour and 15 minutes. So hopefully guests have that kind of time. If they have two hours, that's great, because I can talk. A lot of times you get, well, we're new. We, we, we've never seen this place before. And I said, well, good, because I can tell you an awful lot. The Missouri Botanical Garden understands the value of volunteers, and so they always make you feel good. We simply cannot do what we do without them. 